the brown boys, the brown boys, the brown boys, we the brown boys, the brown boys, we the brown boys. Did y'all hear what the guy was saying, Benny the Butcher? Okay, let's go back and let's re let's rehash it. I'm there to talk about people. Time. Yeah. Are you still supporting Trump? And what's the reason? So why? No voting, comment on that. Voting for Trump 2024. <laughs> <laughs> no comment on that. It's look like he having a hard time in that case right now. You know what I'm saying? But no comment on that. What I did learn from that situation: people in our position ain't supposed to speak uh, on their uh, political candidates. That's what I learned. And that's important what he said. He said, people in our positions aren't supposed to speak. What does he mean by that? People in our positions. Who is he? Who Does everybody know who Benny the Butcher is? He's a rapper. The whole world don't know who he is. But in our culture, he's an influencer. Black people know who he is. Black people follow and listen to him. So he has, quote unquote, followers. So as a black man, what he's admitting to, what he learned is that you can't, with a lot of followers, you can't say certain things. You can't talk about politics and say what you're going to do because you may influence somebody else and that's going to affect that other side that keeps a chokehold on Negroes that gets a chokehold on Negroes. See, we've been voting the same way for, for many, many years. We've been voting Democrat. And so anytime you have someone, because Benny the Butcher is a young man who said he voted for Trump. And he's going to explain that he was just joking. He had not voted for Trump, but he was just saying, like, damn, what, what are we getting out of voting for the way that we're voting? And so he took a lot of backlash. So he's explaining to you what he learned from taking the backlash that he took for saying that he voted for Trump. Now, black people are not a monolith then why does this brother have to go up here and feel like he took backlash for speaking or voting for something that he wanted to vote for or just speaking about it? Cause he said he didn't vote for him. Let's get back to Benny the butcher telling you what time it is about who he's voting, voting for and what he learned in his experience. We're talking about Donald Trump. Stealing money from or being a part of a Ponzi scheme, stealing money from people. Now I'm not saying he did it, but he's being investigated for being a part of that Ponzi scheme thing. And he don't hear to have a nerd to talk about people. Time. Yeah. Are you still supporting Trump? And what's the reason? So no comment on so that. Voting for Trump 2024. <laughs> <laughs> no comment on that. It's look like he having a hard time in that case right no. now. You know what I'm saying? But no comment on that. What I did learn from that situation, people in our position ain't supposed to speak uh, on their uh, political candidates. That's what I learned. And I also learned everybody voting for Trump. You know what I'm saying? I didn't vote. The only president I voted for was Obama. So I really was just talking shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I was just noticing what I really, what I, what I, Voted for was Obama. And I also learned everybody voting for Trump. You know what I'm saying? I didn't vote. The only president I voted for was Obama. So I really would just. He said what he also learned is that everybody's voting for Trump. That's going to make him a marked man again. But nevertheless, he said it. He said everybody's voting for Trump. Meaning that it must be that black folks feel pressured to not say who they're voting for because they don't want to feel like they're voting for the racist white man, which is the Republican. But nevertheless, most people know that um, when Trump was in office, they had more money because I go to the hood. I, I got cousins and family members from the hood. And then when you ask them questions, they'll still say, I don't like that motherfucker Trump. Uh, but, boy, we had some motherfucking money when we was in office, boy. When he was in office, we had money. So they'll say things like that. And I'm like, oh, okay. They feel guilty, but they still miss that goddamn money they had when he was in office. <laughs> so I think, I think that people are going to silently vote for Trump. 
I think the whole hood is going to be silent about it because they understand that it's no good to say it out loud. But the majority of people know that, uh, yeah, we up right now. This president in office is not America first. He is everybody else but us. That should have been their slogan, everybody else but us. And regardless of all the race baiting and the black lady in office slash Indian lady when she got announced, uh, everybody had a red dot on their head. Um, so I don't know if she Indian or black, but despite all of that, um, we had, when you get the real reaction of people, you hear two things. I still don't like Trump, but we had money like a motherfucker on that Trump. That's the honest thing that they say. And so when you get the heart of the people and the honesty of the people without them feeling like they're going to be punished, those are the two things that they're going to say. They're going to say, I don't like that Trump still, but shit, boy, we had some money when Trump was in office. So I kind of read between the lines and be like, okay, this nigga finna vote. He's finna vote for Trump. So let's finish it. Just talking shit. You know what I'm saying? But I was just noticing. I didn't vote. Like, only president I voted for was Obama. So I really was just talking shit. You know what I'm saying? But I was just noticing what I really, what I, what I, what I was getting at that statement is, you know, a lot of times African Americans we vote, we vote Democrats. Man, what the fuck that been doing for us? That's all what I mean. It's like, what the Democrats been doing for us? That I was expressing my frustrations on that. So you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know who I'm voting for. And people, uh oh, they mad now. I wish that black people. Let me just say this. I think black people. No, nah, they ain't mad. Benny in trouble now. <laughs> Bottom about to fall out. Don't matter who in office next, to be honest. Better get your system uh, in real life. Better get you a system in real life. Now, that's a fact. You better get you a system in real life. But I, I can't admit, this, this candidacy feels like um, they won't have a conversation with the people. Like Trump, hate Trump, whatever you say, you had a sound bite from Trump every day. He was talking to the people. Every day, the CNN, I know CNN missed Trump. Every day, CNN, Fox News, all these places had a sound bite from Trump. Excuse me, addressing the people. He was always on the mic. It's like this administration is hiding from us. You can't get Biden to say anything without a teleprompter. Time to think in real life. You can't get this man to think without a teleprompter. Um, it's crazy to me that this man understands the pressure because you notice what he said to get back into good graces. He said, the only president I voted for was Obama. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but that he's trying to let them know like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying is a little edgy, but I only voted for a black man. And listen, man, listen, I ain't never vote for damn Trump. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, I heard everybody voting for Trump. <laughs> he trying to say it. He trying to say it without saying it. You got to read between the lines. Yeah, you got to read between the lines. Because I heard him saying it without saying it. And then Brandon Tatum is going to take it on home and he's going to start repeating some of the stats from, from Trump. So I'm going to let y'all hear a little bit of that. Let me speed it up. Just say this. I think black people would vote for Donald Trump at 80%. I, I really do understand my honest God in my heart believe black people would. If the people in leadership positions had sense. Because then the LeBron James, the Rihannas of the world would, would come out to their audience and say, look, the Democrats have done nothing for us. This is a voting protest of them not serving us. So we need to come out and vote. 80% of black people will vote Republican in the next pay cycle. I mean, in the next election cycle. I guarantee you. And black people will be satisfied that they vote for Republicans because Republicans actively do things that better the country and the people that live in the country, which are black people. If you live in this country, Republican policies benefit you. Lower taxes, building the economy. You name it, we do it. Entrepreneurship, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. All that stuff makes sense. 
And all that stuff is what uh, successful black people have done over the years. And so if people would just come out and just say it and the leaders would give them the authority to say it, which means that if they say it, people will become emboldened to say how they really feel. Not one black person that I know think that the Democrats have done anything. for them. Not one. They just don't like the racist Republican. But they know the Democrats have done nothing for them. They can't name a policy. They can't name a strategy. Not even from Barack Obama. They know what the truth is. But they don't want to get caught up voting for the, the racist white man. Their reputation bad. But if they only would hear from leaders that had some mother freaking sense, then black people will be liberated in America. I'd say even if you don't want to vote for Republicans, sit out the election this year. Don't give these people your vote. They, not, they haven't earned it. You feel like the Republicans haven't earned it. The Democrats haven't earned it either. You think you would have a, a worse quality of life if a Republican was in office? When Donald Trump was in office, how was your quality of life? What did the country look like? The First Step Act, urban revitalization. Donald Trump gave more money to HBCUs than Barack Obama did. And y'all talk about... And um, these last part is going to be stats that he's reading off from specific things that he's saying Trump did. You guys that are Trump haters or Trump never Trumpers or Trump likers, fact check some of the things that he's saying and see if this is correct. And if it benefited you in your regular everyday life. It's not about the person. It should be about the policy. But I realized a long time ago that it's all about who we like. So most of your notorious killers, they come with a smile. Um, they're the nicest people in the world. Um, some of you ladies have been tricked by the nicest niggas you ever met. They have some of the best positions and the best jobs and the highest ranking of authority. And you thought they were nice. You thought they were this, but you found out they were not. So that's all people are trying to do is pretend nice now. 